Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to do just that, or at least attempt to. I'm going to try and crack a cryptic crossword. Now, I've not done a cryptic crossword on the channel for far too long, actually. Um, we tend to save the cryptic crosswords up for special occasions or puzzles that are particularly recommended to us. And the one that I hope will appear when I press play is one such puzzle, because uh, Mike Hutchinson, who's the uh, crossword editor for The Independent, says that this puzzle we're about to look at, in fact, let me, why don't I click it? And let's just check that, I think this looks fine, doesn't it? It looks like the crossword is in the window. Um, yeah, I think this is good. And it's by somebody called Methuselah. Um, Mike told me in a Facebook message that Methuselah is actually one of the youngest crossword setters um, working at the independent. So, and I think they might be a new setter as well. But apparently this is a brilliant puzzle. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to having a go at it. Um, so why don't we just, let's get cracking. Um, I'll put a link under this uh, video, by the way. If you want to have a go at the puzzle yourself, you absolutely can. All of the puzzles on the independent website are free. So uh, you should be able to play this yourself. You can see it's yesterday's puzzle, Saturday the 18th of December. Um, now, one across, love making superpower shown by one in bed. Love making superpower is making me chuckle. Sorry, love making superpower shown by one in bed. Um, superpower might be the US, I think. Um, US, so USI in cot or something. Can't can't see what that is. Um, let's have a look at four across. Um, bishop running rings round second rate primate. Um, I want that to be baboon. Bishop, uh, Bab, why is that baboon? Let's just put baboon in and see why it's right. Um, bishop is B, running is could be on, rings round, second rate, hmm, it doesn't quite work. Um, gibbon, could it be gibbon instead? Let's put gibbon in. Um, Bishop running could be B on. If something's running, it's on. B on. Rings round second. Uh, that doesn't look good either, does it? Oh dear, this is a disastrous start. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, far flung travel agency picked up old colonel from Egypt. Ooh, I'm not too sure about old colonels from Egypt. Let's look at this one. Rooney's wife resolved. Oh, Rooney's wife. I'm going to need to know that. That is, oh, good grief, I'm rubbish at popular culture. Um, she had a fight with Jamie Vardy's wife. I know that about something like Instagram messages. And her name is Colleen. So Rooney's wife resolved anger with a, oh, with a Vardy. With no end of ingenuity. Um, okay, well, that's a bit odd then. Is this, as it looks to me like Rooney's wife is the definition, but I can't, I can't see how, is it Colleen? I don't know why Colleen is in any way out. It looks to me like resolved could be an anagram indicator. So I think we're anagramming anger and, and the letters A, V, A, R, D, because we're anagramming anger with a Vardy with no end of ingenuity. Well, the end letter of ingenuity is Y. So we remove Y from Vardy and we anagram Anger A Vard and we get Ava Gardner. Now, Ava Gardner, I think, was a film star. Rooney's wife, is that something like Mickey Rooney? Oh, <laughs> some people are going to be laughing about this. I, now, as you, I said, I didn't know any popular culture. I also don't really know about the lives of old film stars, but I think... I think that Ava Gardner must be right here. It definitely seems to be an anagram. And I don't know. She must have been married to a film star called Rooney. And you can all have a go at me in the comments for not knowing that. Now, immediately I'm looking at the down entries here. And I'm just getting a whole... Si well, that D might be the one we look at, actually. Because the others are just silly vowels. Um, are they wrinkly after another length in deep pool? <laughs> That conjures up an interesting image. Are they wrinkly after another length in deep pool? Um, oh, that's right. Okay, I have got this. It's another anagram. It's, that's beautiful, though. I mean, if you were 
given the task of constructing a clue for the answer to this and you came up with this clue I mean the definition are they wrinkly is so it's so good that is so clever right how does it work um, Deadpool perhaps perhaps here is being used as an anagram indicator so it's um, we have to anagram the letters deep pool and we have to add an L in the middle of that L is an abbreviation for length um, so if we do that properly I think we get old people old people um, and sometimes you might hear old people referred to as wrinklies uh, I think that's what this is getting at old people are sometimes wrinkly after all um, even younger people sometimes um, so that's that's very clever and I like that a lot they might take bungs off leading cricketers well that mm, okay that's openers isn't it it's double definition um, if somebody who takes a bung off something I mean it's it's clever misdirection the clue it's making you think about somebody being paid to take to lose a cricket match but if you take a bung is something that stops a bottle so if you take that off it's an opener you're, you're doing the act of opening so they might take at bungs off is, is defining openers and leading cricketers um, are openers oh I've got an O now Oh, I've got an O indeed uh, at the end of four across so this is not good that doesn't work with baboon or gibbon oh right okay I do think I know this it's something like bonobo isn't it bishop running yeah it is bonobo um, tricky answer if you don't know the word but let's try and use the wordplay to justify why bonobo is right bishop is b if something is running it's on rings rings are two letter o's because they look like rings and they are round they're going round something that's second rate well, second rate is sometimes used for b um sort of as you might you might see third rate being used for c it's just a bit of a crossword uh, convention so I think we get bonobo in there and now we've got an O at the start of five down love actually one of my favorite films in fact let's just take a break and to pause and think about the genius of love actually I am a big fan of Richard Curtis movies it is true to say um, but love actually I think has very few faults in terms of you know the sort of the scenes I could yeah the Bill Nye whole story that's I can take that or leave it I can take or leave the Liam Neeson story but the Hugh Grant story with um, Martin McCutcheon that's perfect the Colin Firth story is perfect um, what else do I really like about it well to be honest I do really like the Alan Rickman um, an Emma Thompson story and I think Emma Thompson's performance at the end of it is quite frankly magnificent anyone who can watch that without feeling emotional well you're a stone <laughs> um, anyway let's get back to solving a crossword love actually um, expresses a point in speech love actually love could be O oh, actually expresses a point in speech I want this to be orates why is rates actually expresses a point in speech or rates yeah or or I don't understand I don't quite understand that I think it's all rates but I don't get it I'm not putting it in there for let's have a look at the 12 across um, aged following split and went gray went gray uh, I don't know oh we should be able to get that one um, it's got a P in it parrots it's going to be apes probably pushing third of seeds to front yes peas are seeds and if you put the third letter of the word peas to the front you get the word apes and an ape is a parrot as in somebody who copies something um, although that's not really doing us many favors in terms of getting more letters is it let's have a look at 11 across maybe if we looked at this one no Romeo leaves his love half naked in a cell <laughs> I do think these clues are very clever because they they're always you know they're presented or they're often presenting a picture in your mind um, 
Romeo leaves his love half naked in a cell. Well, his love would be Juliet, but that doesn't have a letter R in it. I'm thinking that the reference to Romeo here is to the international radio word for the, the letter R, which is Romeo. So I want to take R out of something. Oh, amore, maybe. Yes, amoeba is a cell. So how would that work? Let's write it in and just see if we can justify it, which is often a good tactic for cryptic crosswords. So Romeo leaves the Italian word for love. OK, so R comes out of amore. Half naked bear, perhaps, B-A. Half of the word bear would be B-A. And then a cell would be amoeba. So I think that's amoeba. And that would give us an M in one down which is a remake of ER filmed down under leaves a lot to be desired. Remake of ER. Oh, this is another possible cult <laughs> culture reference. I never watched ER. My favorite medical drama, mm, either The Good Doctor or House. Um, hmm, no, don't know that. Two down. Mad Judge could give such a short sentence. Judge can be abbreviated to J. Uh, but the, the, the words could give such a short sentence imply that this answer is a, is, is a short sentence. I don't know. Three down. Uh, in the dark and naked on the moon before delivery of some clothes. Yeah, okay. I don't know that either. Eight down. U.S. state. Ah, I was trying to think of a long U.S. state. I thought Pennsylvania. Uh, that's not going to be right, is it? U.S. state littered with chasms. Not this one. It must be Massachusetts, I think. I can see I've got a lot of letters of Massachusetts in chasms. Oh, okay. Yes, it might be an anagram of U.S. state and chasms. That would be that would be 13. Littered would be an anagram indicator. And Massachusetts is definitely not littered with ca uh, chasms. That's more likely to be um, states over in the, in the Nevada direction. Massachusetts, not a word I spell very often, but I think it's like that. Um, Massachusetts, uh, New York's New York State dropped away and Massachusetts flew. Bonus points if you know what that's from. Um, anyway, uh, let's go for thirteen across. We've got a C in that. Oh no, we've got a twelve in. The, uh, sorry, we've got an S in this one. Aged following split and went grey. Went grey. Silvered? Mm, that wouldn't work. Oh, if that's all rates, that would be an E. So, skewered? Aged following split and went grey. I don't know. Don't. I still don't know that one, I'm afraid. And it looks like we've got a difficult crossing now because I don't know five down. I don't know 12 across and I'm not going to be able to get any more help for either of them, which is a worry. Uh, being faithful, New Church gets behind Christian era on Earth. New Church will probably be N for new and then CE for church as in Church of England. And that would seem to very nicely give us the end of the word. So it probably means being faithful. Like, um, I can't think of the word. I can't think of what that might be, which is not great. Um, anyway, let's let's move on. Sixteen across. Some land, some land apart in layer cake after being called back. Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. Again, it's a beautiful surface. And the way the surface misdirects you is it wants you to think about winning a part in the film layer cake but actually the definition is just some land 
So we need something, a word here, a four letter word, which would describe some land or a unit of land area, like the word acre. Why is acre the answer? Well, have a look in the letters of layer cake after being called back. If you were reverse, if you turn back the letters of layer cake and you look inside and take a part of it, you can see A-C-R-E spelt out backwards. And that's why I think that's the answer. So that gives us an A in 16 down. Troublesome warmonger abandons front before charge. Warmonger is oh, nine letters. I was hoping it was going to be eight. I was going to take the W off the front of it and then anagram it. But that would give us eight letters and I only want seven. Warm, a hawk, orc. Or, oh, awkward. Okay, yeah. All right. So a warmonger here is defining the word hawk. We abandon the front of the word hawk to get orc. And then we add a charge, as in a child you might look after. You might describe them as your ward. And we get awkward, which means troublesome. Ah, so we've, now we've got a K in 21 across. Avoid road using this, maybe. Ski or sky. Um, avoid ski piste. I'm not sure. Earth. I don't know. I don't quite see that one either. Um, have I looked at 17? No. Uh, heavy hitters from police taking labour leader for oddly Tory meals. Heavy hitters from police for oddly touring meals luncheons truncheons they would be heavy hitters cool. yeah it's tr well it's luncheons i think the answer and the way to get that is heavy hitters from police are truncheons and truncheons take a labor leader which is the letter l the leading letter of the word labor instead of for the odd letters of Tory, which are T and R, the first and third letter. So we remove T and R, replace it with L, add on unctions, and we get, whoopsie, sorry, I'm typing left-handed, which is appalling. I'm trying to use the mouse right-handed. Um, and we get that answer. So now we've got more starting letters, 18 down. Expenses overwhelming department under Patel, Hammond and May. Expenses looks like costs, doesn't it? Department under Pretty Patel, Philip Hammond, Theresa May. Uh, home office. Pretty Patel is the... Um, Minister of State for the Home Office at the moment. Home Secretary. Philip Hammond was the Chancellor, I think. And Theresa May was the Prime Minister. And before that, she, oh, she was at the Home Office as well, actually, before that. Was Philip Hammond at the Home Office? I didn't think he was, but I could be wrong. Um, home Office. H O co hosts. Oh my goodness. Right, that is brilliant. This is nothing to do with, well, it is a little bit to do with politics, but not. Oh, this is a gem. Absolute gem of a clue. Right, the answer is co hosts. And I got that from the wordplay. But the, the actual. The way this works is sublime. Expenses are costs. They overwhelm the department under Patel. So this is Pretty Patel's current. Um, job as the Home Secretary and she her department is the Home Office HO so costs surround HO and the co-hosts actually are not Philip Hammond and Theresa May the politicians they are Hammond and May as in Richard Hammond and um, oh what's his well, oh, now I can't remember his name but the guy from Top Gear May oh no now I can't remember Richard Hammond and I can see him in my mind I just can't remember they call him May when they're trying to uh, oh, insinuate he's bad at driving. He's, his name's totally gone from my head. It'll come back in a minute, probably. And it's not Brian May, even though their hair is similar. Um, 
his name and that's going to now bug me for the whole of the rest of the video oh good grief simon what's his name james may that's his name goodness me my brain isn't working anyway james may richard hammond a co-host of top gear or he's used to used to be i suppose now now they they're on what's it called the grand design or something I don't know, or the Grand Tour. No, the Grand Tour. I'm not sure. Grand Tour. It's on. It's not on BBC TV anymore. Um, and unfortunately, I don't get to watch it. But anyway, that's that is a brilliant clue. Let's have a look at 22 across. Terribly useless Methuselah, uh, which is the name of the constructor. Terribly useless Methuselah cut a tragic figure. Helen of Troy. She's a tragic figure. Uh, Methuselah could be I, Helen around I, Helien, Helien, no, terribly useless, ooh, don't know, not sure about that, let's look at 19 down, uh, it's imperative to get under end of quilt every so often, um, imperative is something that's necessary or needed, Don't see how that fits into a seven letter answer. Uh, let's look at 23 down. Islands in the grip of, dis ah, islands in the grip of dismal tab tabloids. We can do that one, that's another hidden. So if you look inside the letters, in the grip of the letters of dismal tabloids, you can see spelt out the word Malta. And that's the answer to that. Uh, so now we get an L here. Oh, oh right, sorry. I didn't realize this one from one down was a was sort of spanning the grid um, this is the remake of ER filmed in Australia I don't know what that is oh and now I've got an M in my terribly useless clue I'm feeling terribly useless I don't know what that is let's look at that one 27 across malign Americans behind trouble Ah, I can do that okay an Americans behind is an ass <laughs> and trouble if something troubles you it ails you so ass ale and if you malign something you assail it so ah so now I've got an L at the end of this one which means it, the answer is going to be natural it's imperative to get under end of quilt every so often Oh right, no, this is Thara. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful clue as well. It's so it's so cleverly worded. You don't spot what what uh, Methuselah is doing. But look, if you look at the regular letters, if you if we take the string of letters under end of quilt, so imagine they're just spelt out in front of us, and then we take the regularly occurring letters. It's saying every so often visit these letters, and I want to take the even letters out. So letters two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. of that string of letters. You can see spelt out N E E D F U L, needful. And if something is imperative, it's needful. That's really, that's very clever. It's imperative to get. Yeah, I like that. Um, oh, what's this one then? Terribly useless Methuselah. Cut a tragic figure. Homer? Homer's not really a tragic figure. Hera? No. Um, Homer's a, a writer or a poet. Not really. Hamlet? Not sure. Uh, don't know. I'm not sure about that. Oh, that's probably life or left or or lift or. Okay. Well, the problem is that's three fairly good answers for twenty-five across. Remake of ER film down under leaves a lot to be desired. Leaves could be mm, left. Don't know, wrong part of speech. Um, let's look at 24 across. Would-be politicians have blunt share... Would-be politicians have blunt sharing the last of it with girlfriends? Have blunt... I don't know, that's using a, a meaning of blunt I'm not familiar with, so I don't quite understand the surface there. Um... Candidates would be would be politicians. Blunt is candid. 
this, uh, I think candidates the answer I don't quite understand the last bit of it but let's put candidates in and then we can justify it hopefully whoopsie uh, oh, made a complete ricket at the end of that candidates so blunt is candid oh girlfriends are dates oh I see so we've got the word candid and then we share the last letter of candid with the first letter of dates to create candidates which are would be politicians very clever uh, 26 a pair of Spaniards in German administration right so the letter the word for two in Spanish is dos so this must be dos whoopsie dos in is just plain German can be abbreviation for G dosing well in a minute if you administer a drug you dose somebody so an administration is a dosing that's very clever again very very clever wording this this constructor is very very good um, what kind of academic follows standard from St Andrew's course uh, so that must be a par pardon yes yeah, so, oh yeah okay that's lovely as well actually so the definition there is just the word what because that's something you may say if somebody says something you don't hear you might go what <laughs> well you could say pardon if you were more polite and a kind of academic is a don and that follows a standard from St Andrew's course which is not a course at you know university course or something like that it's the course of the, you know it's the royal and ancient uh, the course at St Andrew's um, and that would be a par um, so that's the answer to that one we haven't done, looked at 14 down old dramatists peculiar ire used to inspire one of his characters so that's going to be an anagram of ire oh Euripides is what this is it's not well it is an anagram of ire it's an anagram of ire used around pi and pi is a Greek letter uh, let me try and spell Euripides correctly um, I think it's like that so we should have an anagram of used ire around pi there's the pi there's the ire and there's the used yes that works oh so what's this then sky plane yeah, avoid oh ski plane gosh that's tricky um, so skip if you avoid something you skip it a road is a lane so that's how the wordplay works if you put skip and lane together and say it differently you get ski plane and you would avoid a road using a ski plane which of course lands not on roads but on snow um, something I've only been on once or twice in my life and they are absolutely terrifying uh, anyway uh, have we now looked at all the clues I rather fear we have and I still don't know what that one is and I I don't know let's go back to one across lovemaking superpower shown by one in bed I want that to be one in bed would be oh coitus that's what that is sorry 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 I should have got that I think I almost said it last time but I didn't look think about it in the other order um, yeah so a superpower is the US as in America and then put one in cot for bed coit and put it in the right order you get coitus which is lovemaking um, so we can get a C in this one remake of ER film down under leaves a lot to be desired remake oh is this an anagram no there's no C ah no it charmed luck yo that's beautiful good grief this is another superior clue uh, let's just put charmed life in and then I'll try and justify it charmed life okay so what we have to do is remake or anagram the letters of ER filmed um, and you can see that we've done that at the end of this string of letters ER and then filmed so it's the last uh, eight letters of the answer charmed life are an anagram of ER filmed and we're putting those under because this is a down clue we're putting them under leaves now what are leaves they're tea leaves 
And another word for T is char, C-H-A. So we've got char at the top and then an anagram of ER filmed underneath. And a lot to be desired is a charmed life because it doesn't mean a lot to be desired as in I desire a lot of cake. A lot is your fate. It's your life. So if you had a lot to be desired, you would lead a charmed life. That is a beautiful definition. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, I love that. That, that's, that and co-hosts are clues for the ages, frankly. Um, two down. Mad, inane, perhaps? Judge. Could give such a short sentence. Mad judge. Why is that inane? I rate. I oh maybe it is I rate. It maybe it's sort of cryptic definition. A judge. If you were judging something, you would rate it. So the judge might say I rate. Perhaps is that what that's getting at? I think that should have a question mark if that's if that is the. If that is the way that should work, I'm not sure. Judge could give such a short sentence. I'm not sure. That would give us an A and nine across. A uh, far flung travel agency picked up old Colonel from Egypt. Far flung travel agent. Oh, space NASA. Is that NASA? Oh, n yes, okay. There was. An old colonel from Egypt, wasn't there? My my history knowledge is letting me down somewhat because I can't remember the first name. Um, Amwar Sadat, NASA. I mean, there, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is an old colonel uh, from Egypt who ran Egypt called NASA. It was not spelled like this, obviously. I think it was N A W S A R. Um, but. Yeah, I think that's NASA. It's a homophone, a far-flung travel agency, indeed. <laughs> yes, um, yes, very far-flung. Um, oh, what's that one? That looks like unaware or something like that. It, oh, in the dark, it could be unaware. Uh, in the dark and naked on the moon before delivery of some clothes. Um, why is that unaware? Naked, oh, loon. I think it is unaware. Let me just put that in and think about it, though. Um, is it lunar or something? Naked on the moon. Deli God, blimey. Right, yeah, this is another brilliant clue, but it's not easy. Okay, delivery of some clothes. If you deliver something in speech, you say it. Now, if you say the word, um, if you say a word for clothes, uh, there what you wear your wear your w e a r so if you do, if you say the word wear it sounds like this word w a r e so we're using a homophone for the word wear here at the bottom of naked on the moon if you're on the moon something on on the moon is lunar N naked means unclothed so take the first and the last letter out and unclothe the word lunar and you get u n a so UNA plus where gives unaware, and if you're in the dark, you're unaware. That's brutally hard, but I think clever, so clever that I would certainly allow that. I think it's beautiful. Um, ah, now we've got virtual, well, we have got all the letters we're ever going to get for 13 across. And we've got how many answers? Four more to do. Uh, being faithful. Adherence, maybe? New church gets behind Christian oh Christian era will be A D on earth it's on earth okay on earth could be here. I suppose that's true if you're there's no denying it is it if something is on earth it happens here in the most general sense ad here N C E and being faithful is adherence. Okay so we've just got to get this one love oh the love actually one um, love actually expresses a point in speech. I've got to get this one. Aged following split and went grey. I really like silvered for that, but I have no idea why it would be silvered. 
If it was silvered, that would be an L. Or no, uh, Oracle. Oh, in speech, orally. Oh gosh, it, right, yeah, it's orally, orally. That's that's. I mean, again, it's incredibly good misdirection. Um. So I think the way this works is love is O as in a love score in tennis and then actually is really and that expresses a point as in if you express milk or something you would you know you would get rid of the milk you would express it so the the, the word really expresses its E being a point of the compass and that leaves rally behind or O plus rally gives orally which means in speech so <laughs> yeah brilliant now that does suggest this is silvered so let's put that in and see if we can justify it aged aged would be matured following split sever uh, no I don't think so split Aged following split and went grey. Maybe it's not soldered. Uh, aged, oldered, old, aged. If you're aged, you're old. So split. Ag. That is the chemical. Oh, right. God, blimey. This is this is tricky. Aged, I th right, so I think I can justify silver now. If you split up the word aged, you could split it into AG and ED. Now, AG is the chemical symbol for the element silver. So that would give us the silver part of the world play, and then the ED would give us the ED bit. So silvered, I think, is the answer. That's really clever. So we're just left with this one. Um... Okay, terribly useless Methuselah, cut a tragic figure. Uh, homies? <laughs> I'm trying to think of words that fit here. Um, there aren't that many. Hammed? Terribly useless, you might be ham if you're useless. An actor's, and a ham is a bad actor. Oh, Hamlet. But what's Methuselah doing? In... Oh, Methuselah's got an anagram of Hamlet in it. H-A-M-L-E-T. Oh, okay. I know what this will be. I know what this will be. I do... A, when I do... My, my crosswords I do every day are the Times crosswords, and they wouldn't allow this. Useless is evil, frankly. What we have to do here is take the word Methuselah, cut it, which means remove its last letter. Then we have to remove the word use from it because it's useless. So if we remove the word use from it and then anagram what's left, having cut the H off the end, I think we get let's left with the letters of Hamlet and Hamlet is a tragic figure. Cool. That's very hard indeed. Oh, it's right. Okay. So it's I think that means we just got it right. So it's just it's just checked it automatically. We didn't have to click anything to say we were prepared to submit the, the solution. But that is a brilliant crossword. My goodness me. I absolutely love that. It's got two clues in it, I think, that are, are utterly awesome. One down and 18 down. And lots of others that are brilliant because they conjure up images and or use use words in surprising ways uh, so many very very tightly constructed clues as well really that really is a superb puzzle mike thanks so much for recommending that to me i uh, loved it i hope you guys who watch the channel for the cryptic crossword content are appeased slightly by this i know we don't do as many puzzles or cryptic puzzles as you'd like but that is certainly an absolute stonker for you and um, we'll be back later on with a Sudoku edition of Cracking the Cryptic.